I want to bring in NBC's Jacob Sobroff, who has been covering the situation at the border extensively for some time now. Uh, so, Mr. Sobroff, give us give us an update on the administration's response to the situation at the border. Where do things stand right now? Well, you know, I have to say, Craig, the administration does get credit for moving children out of CBP custody uh, and doing so relatively rapidly. They were up to over 5,000 kids in the custody uh, of the so-called operators, the law enforcement personnel along the border. Uh, and now the vast majority of those children, as you pointed out to the president uh, in an extraordinary interview, I have to say, um, there are 22,000 of them in the custody of Health and Human Services, where they're supposed to get the care and custody of child welfare uh, professionals. And the president's right about that. What I thought was fascinating is that he wanted to talk to you about comprehensive immigration reform. And as we talked about the other day on your broadcast, when I introduced everybody to reintroduce Anna and her family, uh, that mixed status family where she was a U.S. citizen and her parents uh, were undocumented, they face uh, a challenge now that the president himself is looking at, and there they are on the screen, a more targeted approach perhaps to immigration reform uh, that won't necessarily cover all 11 million undocumented residents of this country. He still supports that, uh, but he said he's willing to compromise. Oh, I, I want to get your take, a fact check, if you can, um, the part of the conversation here that I found especially interesting in that, that conversation with the president. He said that reuniting families has been difficult because uh, the president says the administration doesn't know where these children are. Is that true? Uh, technically, no. They know where the children are. And, and I think there's just a, a misspeak by the president. They don't know where many of the parents are. That number's still uh, are hovering around 400 parents of children who had been separated where they still cannot locate uh, those parents. And th that is accurate. Uh, you know, and where the president was also correct is, you know, he told you they're working hard as hell and they basically have to be like sleuths. They're looking for those parents and they literally have to go through the records that were poorly kept by the Trump administration in order to identify them. But you were correct, Craig, and the president it did seem slightly confused about this, that the administration itself through the work of the task force that he set up has not yet reunited a single child that was separated uh, by the Trump administration. Part of that is because of the mess that was left uh, absolutely by the Trump administration, as the president told you. Jacob Sobroff, thank you as always, my friend. Enjoy your weekend if you can. Great interview, Craig. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jacob. Uh Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.